A machinist must produce a bearing that is within 0.01 inches of a correct diameter of 5.0 inches. And using x as the diameter of the bearing, write this statement using absolute value notation. Okie dokie. So it looks like we have a diameter. And there's telling us that it's a correct diameter of 5.0 inches. However, this machinist must produce a bearing that's within a hundredth of an inch, so 0 0.01 inches. Now, technically, they didn't say that it was it could be over 0 0.01 or it could be below 0 0.01. So technically, both can apply. So there is two limits here, right? You could have a lower limit and a higher limit. The higher limit would be getting that correct diameter, 5.0, and adding that uh, error, right, or the difference, 0 0.01, and you would get some value. And then the lower limit would be getting that correct diameter and minusing 0 0.01. Now, the actual diameter that you get must be within the lower limit and the higher limit. So technically, if I needed to put where my actual diameter was going to be, it's going to be in between the lower limit and the higher limit. Now, I just have to relate this whole thing in one type of mathematical sentence. Let's start with the higher limit first. If this is the highest limit, that means that the relationship between the actual diameter and the higher limit, the higher must be greater than, right? So technically, x must be less than or equal to the higher limit, which is 5.0 plus 0 0.01. Because you can't get any higher than the higher limit. And remember, the alligator of the greater than sign always chomps down on the bigger number. Now let's look at the lower limit. This is the actual lowest that you can go. So 5.0 minus 0 0.01. Between x and the lower limit, x has to be the greater than number. And it's not a coincidence that these two are the same sign. They have to be when you're writing it in this type of notation. OK. Now all we have to do is we just have to transfer this into an absolute value notation. So the first thing is that, remember, with absolute values, you will always get out the higher number, right? Because absolute values, whatever is inside, will always give you out the positive answer, right? Even if there's a negative that's inside the absolute value, you're always going to still get the positive answer. So when you're writing an absolute value notation, just disregard the lower limit. But this kind of gives you a... a um, you know, an idea as to what your equation is going to be written as. So it's good to know that. So in this case, we're just going to be focusing on this part. So I'm just going to rewrite that. So we have x, which is less than or equal to 5.0 plus 0 0.01. And now the difference or what the bearing has to be within which is this number, is what you want to solve for. So that means that the correct diameter, the 5.0, has to be brought over with the actual diameter that you have, x. So I'm going to subtract by 5.0 on both sides. And you get x minus 5.0 just has to be less than or equal to that within value, the 0 0.01 of an inch. And now all we have to do is just strap on the absolute value sign, and you always strap it on where your x value is. And there you go. By doing that, by putting that absolute value sign, you are incorporating the lower limit and the higher limit. Because remember, when we did all those absolute value problems, remember there was always two answers. One was the higher limit, but there was always a secret lower number. Technically, it was the negative value. So that's why we, when we put these absolute value signs in, you get back both options, and that's exactly what we want. So this is the answer. 
What do you guys think? Not bad, right? More conceptual than actually doing math. We just did a little bit of math. We minused, you know, whoop D. <laughs> but hopefully this, this helped you guys, all right? So let me know in the comments what you thought. Click the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, keep studying hard. I think we have one more question in this playlist. So let, let's, let's get it going. I'll see you in the next question.